Today I'm going to be going over a control pack problem, Gen 1, Gen 2, Gen 3, uh, with the cooling fan, the cooling system. The factory ECU uses pulse width modulation to control the fan, so it doesn't have a huge amperage and voltage draw on the system when it turns on. So it'll turn on to half uh, speed, pulls X amount of amps, and it allows for um, basically that, that huge amperage draw from the turning on of electric motor. It's not as big, so it doesn't put a strain on the alternator and the battery. Control packs use a relay. So that same system, when you program the, uh, the, the setting, the fan setting, the fan temperature, which you want to turn on in a control pack, it's an on off switch. It goes right to a relay. It says, okay, now we're on. And all of that voltage and amperage gets drawn from the battery as that electric fan turns on. We've seen it stall the engine. Uh, most of the time you're going to feel or you're going to hear the engine drop in idle. If it's sitting there at idle, it'll, it'll start dropping and then it'll recover. And if you data log it, the voltage drops, which we can see voltage, we can't see the amperage, but it's an amperage drop. It's pulling off the battery. The alternator just can't keep up. So what we have here is a solution from Proform. It's a variable speed controller, which uh, doesn't turn on full voltage, full amperage all, all right away. So it actually is like a soft start. So it soft starts the fan and then sets it uh, within a range of about six degrees. It'll set it um, for whatever percent that it's kicking on. So if you're just sitting there at a certain temperature and your set point is only a few degrees lower, it won't run the fan full speed until it has to. Uh, it also has a manual override. If you wanted to have a manual override switch, it also has the uh, feature for has a couple different features. It has a feature for two, two cooling fans or one, where we're using one, so it has a, se a separate wire. And it has a uh, alternator, or not alternator, air conditioning switch, uh, which is positive. Uh, positive voltage input means the air conditioning's on. In this case, this old school air conditioning system has a negative or a ground. So we had to use a relay. So we have power to the relay. When the air conditioning turns on, it grounds the relay, which sends power then into the fan controller and the fan controller does a soft start on the cooling fan. Now, when you're installing this, um, which is pretty straightforward, you'll need to set it. Do not set it on a cold engine. There's no point. You have to wait until not only the engine is warmed up, but the radiator is circulating fluid. The uh, thermostat's fully open. On this one, it's a stock thermostat, 186 degrees. And um, let me just show you. So we have this SCT data log here, uh, the X4 up, and we're data logging coolant temp. Um, you can change what you want to log here. Uh, there's different configuration files when you go in here, and you can change. You just scroll down to this, press the button, and I can change this to whatever I want, right? So I can do, let's just do, uh, we'll do throttle angle. So we, now we have coolant temp and throttle angle, just so you're aware, you can change all that. So we're, we're logging coolant temp at the back of the head. It's cylinder head temp, it's uh, then converted to coolant temp, which is inferred, we're at 193 degrees. Now we go over here to where I put the uh, fan controller in. And the Proform box is right here. If I just press a button, the display turns on, it's at 174. That's the actual temperature. I can go ahead and go into my settings and say, I have it set to start kicking on the fan at 175, but whatever your set temp is, six degrees before that is when it's going to start kicking on this fan. So the fan's actually right here. It's a huge radiator on this one and a, and a decent sized single fan. And that fan's just blowing very cool or very slowly. Um, if I go in here and change this, let's change it to 165. Now we'll wait a minute and the fan will start kicking on the pull. So now that the uh, the fan is on full bore, full blast and the engine idle has not even stumbled at all. And that's what we want. And it's the same with the air conditioning. Let's say it's only 120 degrees coolant temp, but it's hot as hell outside. You turn on your air conditioner, it's gonna soft start the fan so it doesn't try to kill the motor. This controller is pretty basic, uh, easy to use. I'm gonna go in here again and just reset this back to where I had it. So. The temperature probe for this, there's two different probes. There's one 
goes in the radiator. This is a big radiator, so it's right here underneath the, uh, the outlet. You want to have it on the outlet, which is the upper radiator hose, or you can have it on the engine. You could have it on the hose here. Uh, with, if you weld it in a bung, you can screw it to, the, to another coolant port. Uh, but that's why we use the uh, that's why we're using the SCT device to see the actual temperature of the engine, which is at the cylinder head in the back of the engine, versus what the fan controller is seeing. So I don't want to set it at 185 on my fan controller because by the time it gets to this radiator, it's cooled off 15 degrees, almost 20, and I'll have the engine running too hot. So use your device, use your data logger to validate where you want it. And this one, the fan is just running like at 20, 30%. It's holding it at 193. And with a 180 thermostat, I want this engine in the 190s. So, I mean, 205 is fine. Some people want it colder, better. I mean, I don't like having the thermostat in the thermostat. I don't want the thermostat opening and closing all the time, right? So I want the thermostat open all the time, but the engine staying cool. And, and we are uh, like seven or eight degrees um, from when the thermostat actually opened. So this is perfect. If I turned on the air conditioner, it should, the engine should feel that one because this, for some stupid reason on the 6RD control packs for the Gen 2 Ford Performance did not put in the air conditioning switch. So I turn on the air conditioning, it will lug the engine down, but then the fan will kick on full and it won't lug it down further. Let's see what happens. There's the AC and then it's actually on a pressure sensor. It's on a pressure switch um, over here on the AC. So there's a pressure switch here and it is this wire here. So once the pressure comes up, the fan's gonna turn on high. So the fan right now is on, we'll see. The uh, AC has to build some pressure before it's gonna kick the fan on high, but it should kick it right on high. So. Essentially, this is uh, one of the major bugs, aside from fan wash across the air filter over there. So you don't want the fan blowing on your air filter, or when you're going down the road, the air filter getting a bunch of fresh air that's just blasting into it, right? Uh, those are the two major issues with the uh, control packs that we see. And uh, this solution from uh, from Proform with their variable speed controller is like 100 and, I don't know, it's 130 or 140 bucks, um, Summit Racing right there easy to do all right but that's how you guys do it